Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel, thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be changing the light in my Angelfish Aquarium. I've decided to die when I come home one night. We'll also be just taking a look at the tank, see how everything's getting on. And I've got an update on some stocking. So if that's something you're interested in, then please stay tuned. Without any further ado, let's crack on with today's video. Okay, so welcome back. So as I said, today we're going to be looking at changing the light in my Angelfish Aquarium. It's a fitted light that comes with the tank, so it's not the easiest thing to change, so I've got an opportunity to show you how I go about that. I've actually done it in a previous tank as well, so if you want to go and check that out, I'll add the link in the description to go and have a look at that. So first of all, apologies, I haven't been around for a while. I think it's been about a month since I put my last video up. So it's been really, really hot in the UK, and I think that's been the same most places. So as you've probably seen, lots of people have been affected, struggling to keep their tanks to temperature and actually some people losing fish. So I hope everybody's been coping with the temperature of their tanks. I don't know if you're like me and been doing extra water changes, trying to keep the temperatures down. Um, but that's mainly the reason why I haven't put up the video for a while. It's been really, really hot in this room. It's been hitting 28, 29 degrees some days just in the room itself. So it's been quite unbearable. I've also been busy as well, um, putting together some t-shirts, some clothing, as well as some home furnishings. If you're interested in these sort of things, then please hit the link in the description below. I'll be constantly adding updates and new products, so if that's something you'd really like to see more of, or anything you'd like to see in particular, then please let me know. It's actually available on Redbubble, I've also got some shirts available on Amazon Merch for those American viewers as well. So if you can show me any sort of support, it's always really, really appreciated and any of the money I make off the back of this will go back into my room, my animals and just trying to make this channel even better. I also as well wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody. Um, I actually hit a thousand subscribers a couple of weeks ago, which is something I never really anticipated from when I started this channel. Um, you know, off the back of about 17 videos I think I've made so far, I think that's pretty good going and I really, really appreciate anybody that supported me and everybody that comments and speaks to me quite regularly. You know, I really, really appreciate you being dedicated to my channel, so thanks very much for that. So enough of me yabbering on, I think it's time to start get going on changing this light. Okay, so as you can see the tank is in complete darkness um, and you can also see me in the tank. Hello. So it's been like this for about a week now, so I've been trying to get time to film this and actually replace the light. I'm actually using a light I already had, I used to use on one of my goldfish tanks quite a while ago now, so it's just running spare. So as you can see, obviously very handy to keep any spare equipment. Okay, as you can see, the light's fitted in, just screwed into the top. So we're just going to go about removing that now, and then I'll come back to you once we've done that. Okay, so now we've removed the light, it's time to install the new one. I'm going to be just installing this Arcadia stretch light. Uh, it's pretty standard, it's a little bit dirty, a little bit old, but it'll do the job. So we're just going to zip tie this to the roof of the tank, um, but just by using zip ties, which is quite straightforward, everybody can do it. Obviously, if you're under the age of 18, then make sure you ask an adult before you use any drills or anything sharp. Don't get me into trouble. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do the same on the other side. Okay, so now it's time to add the zip tie so we can attach the light.
Okay, so the light's been installed. Again, you can see me in the reflection. Okay, so let's just check this out and see how the tank's looking. I haven't actually seen it for a couple of days, so let's hope everything's okay. Okay, so as you can see, the angelfish are doing really well. I've got the same, same angelfish in there, and obviously I've got some cardinal tetras in there. An update since the last tank update on this, I've actually added a golden nugget pleco in there, which one of my Instagram followers kindly named Nugget, so thanks for that. As you can tell, um, I haven't been able to see this tank for a while, so there's a little bit of algae on the tank, but it has helped the algae problems having the light not working for a couple of days, so that is a plus. As you can probably tell from when we initially sent this tank up, which is quite a while ago now, the moss has grown out of control. Um, I'm going to be trying to get on top of that, and I think we'll probably make a video around that. Um, I'm really, really surprised. We used spike moss in this tank, and um, it's grown and grown and grown and grown. So I am looking to trim that back, and I'll probably be looking to sell some of the moss. So if anybody lives in the UK is interested in that, then please give me let me know. So as well as the Placostomus, we've also got some wood shrimp in here which are actually helping tackle any of the mess in the tank as well as some of the algae. As you can see they're filtering through the substrate and pulling out any nutrients that they might need. I've actually got three of these in here and they've been doing really well since they've been in the tank. Um, this one hasn't yet coloured up. When they do colour up they can go a really really nice orange colour. Uh, so I'm hoping that will happen eventually. Okay, so as I mentioned, the moss, as I said, has gone really, really out of control. As you can see, it's taken over pretty much the tank. Um, so we'll be looking to trim this back in the next week or so. Um, so I'll probably make a video around that. If it's something you're interested in, then please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And so for those of you that do follow my channel, some of you may know that I do did have some angelfish pairs actually breeding in this tank. Um, actually, we rescaped it um, probably about six months ago now. They actually started to pair up and actually produce eggs. Um, I've actually got two pairs in here they are actually producing at the moment. I um, haven't had any eggs for a couple of weeks, but it's probably not helped that the lights have been off the whole time. So for those of you who are following my channel, um, I am looking for a house at the moment, so I will be looking to move some at some point soon, and we are looking currently, so once we do get a new place, this will need an upgrade, because the tank is slightly overstocked, and the angelfish are sort of outgrowing the tank, and they are okay in there at the moment, there's plenty of barriers, so there's no to diffuse any of the aggression, but this tank will be one of the first that will get an upgrade, um, and hopefully at that point then we'll be able to carry on breeding the angelfish and actually producing the babies, so that'll be exciting. So, as I mentioned, I haven't put a video up for a while, so apologies for that. Things should go back on schedule now, and I should be producing a video at least every other week, if not weekly. Um, I'm juggling a lot at the moment. I'm hoping to, hoping to free up some time eventually so I can commit more time to get videos on a more regular basis. Um, but th other things going on in the room at the moment, it's not a great deal being going on. As I said, it's been quite hot and difficult to spend a lot of time up here. Um, I do have a new... I do have some guppy fry that are almost about to be sold. Um, I'll probably give them another couple of weeks to fatten and colour up. I've also just had another batch of fry as well, and some I've had for about a month now, so those will be looking to be sold eventually. The rest of the animals have pretty much stayed the same. Um, I do lose quite a few fish during the heat wave, as I imagine most of you did. As I mentioned earlier, even somebody like Joey the King of DIY, if he's struggling to keep his fish alive and having problems, then what hope the rest of us have? But as I said, I did lose a couple of Remy Nose Tetras in my 15 gallon tank, community tank as well. I lost the Corydoras in my Green Tree Python Paladarium as well. And I did lose the two Grammys that I had in the community tank as well. So that was unfortunate, but those are the only casualties so far. And I'm hoping now we've got over the worst of it and everything's back to normal. Okay, so I'll do a full video on this going forward, but these are the guppy fry that I've bred myself and they'd be looking to be sold in the next couple of weeks.
But as you can see, some of the males are really starting to colour up now. They're really deep blue and orange. It's difficult to see, but these are the other gubby fry I have. Um, they're not quite colour enough yet, but they will be the next to go into the tank I just showed you. And like I said, I had another batch again last night. So you can see some of those. But they're still in with the mums. And they seem to be doing fine. I don't know if I'm going to remove them yet. I don't quite have the space, but they seem to be doing fine as they are in with the mums. I've removed the male. He seems to be picking most of them off. So I hope you found this video useful. I know when my light in my hood went in my aquarium when I was first, first starting out, I thought perhaps I need to buy a new tank or um, perhaps I need to find a hood that fits, which seemed impossible at the time. So I hope you've learned something and I hope this has been useful to you. Like I said, there's plenty going on at the moment, so I'll be trying to get some regular videos going now over the next month. So if you're not yet subscribed, then please, please do so you don't miss any. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads that I actually put out. As I mentioned at the beginning, um, I've got quite a lot of products that are available. I've added the links in the description below. So if you want something like a mug or a t-shirt or a clock, duvet cover, you name it, just go and check out my Redbubble account. I've got some designs on there with some of the animals in the room as well as others as well. So there might be something for everybody. So please check it out. And as I said, any of the money that I earn will go towards upkeep the animals and improving this channel and trying to expand. If you'd like more regular updates as well, I update daily on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So I'll leave the links to those in the description as well. But again, a massive thanks for watching and a massive thanks for all your support. Getting me to over a thousand subscribers now. Next aim is 10,000. See if we can get there. But again, I really, really appreciate any support, whether you've watched the video, liked it, subscribed, commented, asked questions. I really appreciate any of the interaction you have. But I think that's enough from me for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.